like that. And then, oops, sorry, one too many times. And rotate 180 degrees. Anyways, there we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. I mean, it's all personal preference, right? And there you have it. Just going to flatten the whole thing. You know, there's my quick and dirty uh, wall panel. Like I said, we'll print this out uh, 20 inch, 30 inch, and have it mounted, and we're ready to go. I mean, all reality, um, you know, this took me no time at all. If I wanted to, um, you know, I can always just take this here and put this on its own layer. Okay, so now I've just got an empty space here, and all I had to do is just drag. Um, drag images in there and I've always I always have this as a template okay I've always this is if I save this as a PSD it's always as my own template now let me just show you let's just do something else let's show you another way let's go back to um, let's take a 12 30 inch by 12 inch sorry let's go new not pixels we'll go 30 inches by 12 inches all right, let's choose a background of this. Okay, now let's just say we wanted to do something um, kind of the same. Okay, so I'm just going to take, uh, oops, what am I doing here? Oh, yes, 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 I want to take this, we'll go an inch, and we'll go another inch. and let's just bring that up different color like that now if I wanted to let's just say I want to make this and I want to keep this as uh, five separate images let's just say um, let's just say square so I've got one oops so what I'm going to do is uh, using my marquee tool I'm going to create five um, five separate squares or slots or whatever size you want um, your images to be okay so there's many ways to do it I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this really quick just so you get the idea so I'm just gonna take a, uh, a square here I'm gonna press control J to put that on its own layer as you can see here and I'm just gonna increase the color of it using my levels just so I see what I'm doing now using the move tool and I'm just gonna hold down the alt key and I'm just gonna create one three okay so I've got my four images there now if I wanted to you know place them wherever you want or whatever space you want da, 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 you know I'm just doing this really quick just for the heck of it now if I just merge all these together and holding the control key down to actually um, um, to actually select them all okay I'm gonna delete that top layer so now I've just got my selections where they are and I'm just gonna go select inverse so I select all of the background and I'm gonna delete it all sorry wrong way press control J put it on its own layer and now what I'm left with when I delete that one layer is my template now if I want to save that I save that as a PSD now all I have to do is whenever I bring in any images and drag them in there I just have to put them below the layer and this way here, I can just drag and put the in, put these images wherever I want. I'll just open up the other one here. Let's just put these ones in here. Put this one in here. Oh, we'll put this one in here. There we go. So now let's just go to this. Choose this layer. Put that guy there. Choose this guy. Put this one here. So there you have it. Now I can just simply just put whatever images I want in there. If I open up four more new images, whatever. If I save this as a PSD, it's always as a template. You create it what you want. You just got to make sure that when you're done with it, just make your selection, cut them out. Have it on its own layer, and that way you can just drag your images in there. Now I know there's lots of software to do that, but I mean really, once you create your template and you save it as a PSD, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping your images in begin with and this way you have full creative control 
of um, you know of what you want to do. All right. Well, thanks again. Hope this helps, and uh, we'll see you in a bit.